How Magnet was discovered. A shepherd named Magnus, who lived in Greece, discovered the magnets when he was sitting on the rock. He found that the rock on which he was sitting is attracting his iron base stick and shoes. After sitting on some other rocks, he found that the one rock is different from others. Such rocks were given the name magnetite. On the name of that shepherd, magnetite is composed of iron. As per the definition, any substance which can attract iron is called as magnet. This is how magnets were discovered. There are two types of magnets naturally occurring magnets and artificial magnets. Artificial magnets are of different shapes like bar magnet, horseshoe magnet and cylindrical magnet. Magnetic and non-magnetic To identify magnetic and non-magnetic substances using a magnet, take a bar magnet and some objects like safety pin, wool, paper, glass and wood. Roll the bar magnet over these objects. You will observe that the safety pin only gets attracted to the magnet, while the wool, paper and glass do not get clanged to the magnet. This is because the safety pin is a magnetic material, while wood, paper and glass are non-magnetic. Properties of magnets Take some iron nails on a plate. Now take a bar magnet and place it on the plate. You will observe that most of the nails are stuck at both the ends of the magnet. The two ends of the bar magnet have the maximum power to attract magnetic objects. These two ends are called as poles of a magnet. A magnet has two poles. North Pole and South Pole Finding Directions Using a Magnet Magnets have been used since ancient time to find directions. Let us learn how to find directions using magnets. Take a bar magnet having labels of North and South Poles. Take a thread and tie it in the middle of the magnet. Now suspend it freely from a stand. You will find that the magnet rests in that particular direction only as shown in figure. The freely suspended magnet always rests in north-south direction. It is because north pole of magnet points towards the north and south pole points towards the south direction. Line drawn perpendicular to north-south line shows east to the right and west to the left of north-south line. A magnetic compass shows directions based on the same principle. In fact, the needle of the magnetic compass is a bar magnet itself. Make your own magnet. Take a bar magnet and an iron bar. Now, rub the bar magnet 30 to 40 times over the iron bar. Bring the iron bar near the needle clips. You will see that the iron bar attracts the needle clips. This is because the iron bar has now turned into a magnet. Attraction and Repulsion Between Magnets Now, place the two bar magnets on the toy cars such that South Pole of Car A is followed by the south pole of car B or north pole of car A is followed by north pole of car B. Now bring the car A near to the car B. You will find that the car B moves away from the car A. This is called repulsion. Now place the two bar magnets on the cars such that North Pole of Car A is followed by the South Pole of Car B or vice versa. Bring the Car A near to Car B. You will find that the Car B attracts towards Car A. This is called 
attraction. Opposite poles of magnet attract each other, whereas like poles of magnet repel each other.